Welcome to the Black Lion Podcast. We are your hosts, Lex and Dom. And today we will be doing a review on The Maid or Netflix. All right, so I'm about to show you guys the trailer and then we're going to talk about it. Why are you here? We don't have anywhere to sleep tonight. Oh! Home and then we left it. Do you want to call the cops now? It's not too late. And say what? That he didn't hit me? We need to get you off the streets. There's beds at the domestic violence shelter. You're here. You can breathe. I'm Alex. I'm trying to piece together how I got here. My mom is undiagnosed bipolar, and she's MIA right now. I got into college. I wanted to be a writer, but I got pregnant. Now I'm a single mom. You on parole? No. You got a problem with background check? No. <laughs> this is a trial. Oh, I'm starting today. That's good news, ain't it, broke girl? We compost. The bin is labeled compost. Can you read or should I show you? I can read. Oh. I don't think I can do this. So quit. Oh, I can't quit. I live for my daughter. They can kick dirt in your face. Alex, I haven't had a drink today. You don't leave a good man when he's trying. And they hate the way you shine. Before they bite, they bark. I pay all the bills. But you hang out with my friends. I do everything for you. Before they hit you, they hit near you. Trying to hide inside of it and hide how much it hurts. It grows like mold. Let Miss Russell, did you file a police report on the night you left? No. You can't take a child away like that. It's grounds for losing custody. This is an emergency. You are an emergency. Don't ever let anybody take advantage of you. <laughs> you will never, ever control me again. About the house I want for my daughter and me. It's not big and full of stuff. Our space is a home because we love each other in it. So I'm gonna stop sharing. All right. Um how do this? This is dumb. All right, bye. So that was the trailer for the movie. Um, I'm going to just put it out there right now. My rating of the movie before we even start talking about it. And I'm going to just say, I give it like. A, a, I don't know. I just I, I want to say I give it like a, a three. Yeah. What you rate it, though? What? All right, well, I don't know what you're talking about, but I rated the movie a three. Um, it was an interesting oh, series. It was an interesting series, um, but I don't know. I just feel like it just kept, it kept like stringing me along and I was getting tired of it. I was getting tired of her actions. Like I, I wanted her to do different stuff, but she kept doing with, I don't know, the opposite. But I'm glad that she made the, she, you know, she chose the path that she chose because, you know, she she got to <clears throat> experience some things that let her know what she want in life and what she don't. Yeah. <clears throat> I rated it. Um, I, li- I liked it. It was, to me, it was a five. Okay. Just even though she overcame a lot of things, well, she never gave up, even though she wanted to. At one point of the show, she it looked like she was giving up. It was kind of interesting, you know, her being as though she was a single mom, and you know, her she didn't have a stable house home because her mom had mental health issues, and you know, she was basically poor or broke. 
And I'm like, this is this is kind of interesting because usually the person that's in that character spot is a black person or someone a minority. But seeing that's that she was white, it was like that's, it was kind of interesting. I didn't like about it, it was it was that they didn't use a black person for that role. Oh, you wanted them to use a black person because it's realistic. Because it's white single moms out here too. No, but they the way everything she went through, eighty percent of black women go through that. That's what I'm saying. Okay, yeah, I get what you're saying. The, well, I get what you're saying. Yeah, but um, one, especially uh, the part, the part not, where she was working for the um the black woman that paid for color for color for girls. Oh and, yeah, uh huh. That situation, I'm like. Oh, I said they funny for real. Because oh. she was black and she was wealthy, but that's the, it, it, it is reality yeah. though. There are black wealthy. No, not wealthy. that. I'm not talking about. I'm talking about the baby. The baby situation when when um when Alice was taking care of the baby for her, putting them to sleep and stuff. That's what I'm talking about. Like one time, but. Like too, she was going through like postpartum. Probably she she ain't have no sleep. She was exhausted. She's like she ain't wash that behind. She just was great, and it happens. It, it does happen. You know, no matter how much money you got, you you definitely need a break. But let's talk about let's break the characters up real quick. Let's talk about the baby dad. I don't I don't know his name. Got it. But him he. He was something else. He was manipulative. He was Definitely something. He, he was really something else. And I, I just kept saying, like, girl, if you don't leave his broke behind alone. Like, when she got the apartment and then she invited him over there with his friends and they're like, we're going to bring some weed and we're going to just... Girl, speak for yourself. You don't want to let them come in and walk over top of you. Cause it's your daughter's birthday party and y'all share a child. I was mad. I was like she's dumb. I've been like doing nothing. You ain't that girl, child. But anyway, yeah, she she definitely wasn't standing her ground as much as I wanted her to. Um, but the baby back to the, the you know the big father baby dad. But um, they said she was a uh, victim of the domestic crap. violence. Right, but he was a piece of crap because. He didn't care about he didn't care about the um the daughter in most situations. They don't really they really don't care about the child. They care about the relationship that they have with the mother. So when he went and took her to court, because you alcoholic, you miss party. Like I just was like, yo, I was like, this is too much for me. That they had a black judge. I was like, this, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. The whole fact that he was able to take the daughter, she said, "How can I to get a good lawyer when we poor? We broke. How you- <laughs> My family, but your family got you living in a trailer. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so I didn't like the baby. Di- the baby did. Um, what was the guy? Uh, the guy name." Who he was trying to date her. I forgot his name. My memory bad. Anyway, if you watch the guy, um, I think he was an engineer. The one who was helping them? You know, he brought it to her his house. Yeah, you're talking about that um that the um I think he from um he from Middle Eastern. Yeah, well, you way, about him, don't get me. I was mad at her because I'm like, girl, he trying to help you out, like, wagon, you know, like, and I was just like, let me just relax because I'm not, I'm not sure why she's doing all this. Like, you gonna sit up here and go over there and sleep with your baby dad when this man is trying to put you up and get you where you need to go? I'm just like, I'm real confused, like. And he was into her. He would have gave her everything. Like, why are you doing that to him? And then, 
when she came home from sleeping with her baby dad, when he told her to get the crap, get out, I was like, oh, look at that. Freaking him, sis. <laughs> First of all, she told you from the jump, I don't want no type of relationship with you. Da, da, da. He said, okay, but don't get mad because she went to go sleep with her, her ex. Like, it wasn't genuine from the start. So yeah, I think it I got more. They, they, if they would have went out to dinner together, I think it would have got they would have got more intimate than what they was thinking they would. Right, he was being really active um, in her daughter's life, and that's what guys be. They be trying be active in your child life, you know, make you like yeah, yeah. Nope, you gotta watch out for them guys. <laughs> but um, who else? We can talk about the mom. What's your ideas on her? She just she she's she a victim of domestic violence too, and she had some mental problems prior before she even got with the father. He just made mm-hmm. him worse. Right. So he made him worse, and she still was unstable. Like even when she got older, and, and you know Alex was grown. She kept trying to make her mom do stuff to her mom. Like, I'm living my own life. Like, you go out there, mom, you want to come with me? No, you're not a child. Stop trying to rely on your mom. I'm like, girl, just do what you got to do. Like, don't worry about her. But she finally had to just face reality. Her mom was fucking her ways. And, and you know, it always be like that. But she she kept um bringing home that point. She said she t- she she took care of mom since she was six. So right, I was, you I know I know some people like that currently. So right, right. So why would you want to continue to do that when you already have like a th- three year old? When you already have a three year old, no. So I would yeah. It was a lot of lessons to be learned in this um series. For people to think about. Be grateful what you got. Right. And, and you want to know something? I didn't like the maid company. She was just so mad because she took her part, her uh her business and she fired her. I'm like, she, get it, but it's just like, mm. yeah. She and the way that she was talking, that's the thing. The way she was the the um whatever the lady was, the way she was talking to her was just like, I was, I wouldn't even, you know. Yolanda. Hello? I said her name, Yolanda. Sorry, I don't know why people call my phone and don't say nothing. But (laughs) the way that she was talking to her was just like, like she was belittling her. She told me, like Yolanda was like, You taking in my customers? She, I, I think she threatened to beat her up or something. Or no, call the yeah. cops. No, nope. she, she said she was going to kick her butt and then she was going to call the cops. Yeah, something like that. But she did I threaten like, her. I was um, like, I would like, have so I I took, took, took that butt whooping. For <laughs> real. If you really need the money, yeah, you're going to take that butt whooping. But um, I loved, one thing I, I loved about this series was the domestic violence shelter. I was, I was like so happy about that shelter because it just was so, it was so good, like on so many different levels, especially to the, you know, down to them having a fake sh- shop and using fake money or whatever. I was just like, this is, this is it. Like, I loved it. I really did. I was like. Yeah, and it's and, and I'm glad that they showed when the um I don't know the girl she left to go be back with her um her baby her baby father or her husband <clears throat> when she left the shelter and she was like that's I think she said Delilah or something like that that's her um her third time coming back or whatever and I just was like that's crazy because it really be like that it really be like you keep going back until you really have enough or you know or you they person kill you you know so i really 
the Puerto Rican crazy. girl that went back to her dude. That's what I'm talking about. She, I was like, yo, she yeah, had like she, she didn't know her and all that. I was like, yo, I was like, she crazy for real. I, she had to, no, she, she had to act like she didn't know her because he would have asked where you knew her from, and she would have been like the domestic violence shelter, and he would have whooped her behind again. So I get it, you know, I get it. But I think they they set it. I don't know if they set it up for it to be a second season. Mm. That looked like when she went off to the sunset. It's like that was it. Right? Mm-hmm. I don't need another season. <laughs> Say that again. I don't need another season. It wouldn't do it for me. And just she's like, we're going to because he said I'm going to let you take her. Da, 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 blah blah blah. And he was like, I'm going to come up there be with you guys as much as possible well be with her as much as possible when I you know I gotta get clean and stuff and I just was like girl I wouldn't even sell them rather than that I get it I get but you know yeah and I think the dad he could have he, he was trying to do better but when he saw that the how baby father was doing the same thing he used to do. Mm-hmm. He should have helped her out. You should have helped her out. When he seen that he was talking to his daughter like that, mind you, but he hasn't been in her life since she was like six or 12. I don't know. I forgot. But when he seen that he was talking to his daughter like that, he should have said something. That showed a lot about his character when he shut, when he sat there with his mouth closed. I was like, mm, I don't respect him. At all, and if it wasn't like, all right, people people go through what they go through. You never go, you never know what's my going through. So maybe him abusing the mom, he was going through something, not making an excuse, but he learned his lesson. You know, he went through the steps because he was an alcoholic. What he had to do, and now you know he's changed. He don't be his new wife, but seeing how he let his daughter get talked to, like, I was like, oh no, F him. He's still sane. Nope. Mm-mm. Yeah, He's the guy I didn't like. Know. I didn't like the dad not one bit at all. And his twin daughters was crazy. But um, I think that's all. We ain't, we ain't got to talk about no bios. But Maybe. I'm I'm happy how the movie ended. The um the series ended. I was happy for. Her. I'm like, damn, I need to find a college that's going to have a co- uh, daycare there and stuff like that. Family house. Good life lessons. Huh? So that show was good life lessons. Yeah. You know what? Let me change my rating. I'm going to change it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give him a five. I'm being generous today. <laughs> I really did like it. If it, it would have been a black person, it would have put this, the, the powder sugar on top. Yep. But yeah, it was good to see it in a different perspective too. Because everybody, it don't matter, you know, you still go through what you go through. We Same all need mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <clears throat> But yeah, that was crazy. But I enjoyed it. And if you guys have any recommendations on new series or even this old or movies for us to watch, just let us know. Thank y'all for what, on tuning in. There. Bye.